Hey, this is Nate Woods here with a, uh, another episode of the Business Spotlight Series. So I'm here with Scott Prince of Line Creek Brewing. Scott, just take a quick, make it, quick minute to introduce yourself and explain what you do at Line Creek Brewing. All right. Uh, my name is Scott Prince, and um, I grew up in this area, uh, Peachtree City, moved here about 77. I know that's dating myself, but a long time ago. Um, and then I started working at Line Creek Brewing when we opened, um, just luckily luckily stumbled across the job and i've been working here since the beginning awesome so who is the target market who's the ideal consumer for line creek um we pursue i mean all ages but our biggest market is families fresh families moving into the area um young professionals um with kids we all of our locations are kid friendly we try uh um, you know, to do our best to to handle all the kids, but that is who we shoot for is, you know, our general, you know, it's, it's changed a little bit as we've opened up into Fayetteville, into Noonan, but when we first started in Peachtree City, it was, that was certainly what we were looking for. Yeah, absolutely. And all, all the tap rooms are awesome. They're a great place to come, just hang out and meet people. So um, you've obviously had some explosive growth over the past four or five years. So what, what do you attribute all of that growth to? What have you guys been doing right? I think the biggest thing that we've been doing right is collaborating with local nonprofits. Um, so as far as marketing goes, we don't really pay for advertising. We do all of our own advertising on social media and that sort of thing. But I think our biggest plan was organic growth through, um, you know, dealing with different local nonprofits and, and helping them. And in turn, that's helped us. Um, so, you know, we've had a couple of big collaborations with the Southern Conservation Trust, and we've done things with lots of other local um, uh, nonprofits that are really popular. So that that's really helped us through word of mouth and organic growth has kind of been what we've looked for. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So um, if as you look back over the last five years or so, what do you think has been the biggest lesson you've learned as you guys have scaled up? Um, and how can other people learn from that lesson? Um, as we've scaled up, I mean, it's definitely been challenging to open extra tap rooms and keep your focus on your main location and to continue keeping focused um, on everything, especially, again, working for event with events and and and. I mean, that's been our main thing is just to stay focused and, and not lose focus on what our our main, our goal was from the beginning. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys obviously have a great team surrounding you at all the locations. Um, what, what qualities do you look for in team members as you're hiring on and how does that help foster an awesome work environment? Well, I, I personally have worked in the food service industry for a long time. Um, so it helped that I knew a lot of people in the food service industry. So it wasn't hard to find employees when we started up. Um, but I look for people that, um, you know, that are serious, uh, that 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 have things that that they need to accomplish. I'm looking for someone. I'm not necessarily looking for people that just want to be in the brewing industry for the rest of their lives. Uh, you know, we definitely push people if they're going on to a new point in life. We we like you know we're we're for it. We support it. Yeah, um, absolutely. But I've you know I've just basically looked for people that do a little more than a um above the average work ethic if that makes sense there's sure. a lot of people out there that do the least amount of work possible to get by i try to avoid that as much as possible absolutely so we, we talked about this a little bit we had to bump the interview shortly uh you had some personal things to take care of so how are you able to balance personal life with the demands of running the location at line creek uh, mainly because i have a good staff um, it's much easier when I have the right people in charge of the right places. And I just, I do have a great staff. I've been very fortunate, um, to very little turnover. Um, people have been here for a long time. A lot of the, the beer tenders, we like to call them. Um, <clears throat> so they just, and then they make pretty good money. So it's, it's been, uh, it's, it's definitely helped a lot. Having the right staff has definitely made it easier. Absolutely. Absolutely. So how could people learn more about Lime Creek, get in contact? What's the best way to do that? 
Um, well, we recently started a new website. Um, we got finally got it updated after all these years. And then we also have um, Facebook and Instagram. Those are our main ways to get a hold of us. Um, we respond pretty quickly. We're, we pride ourselves on quick answers. Um, not me necessarily, but some of the other people that work here respond very quickly. Um, but that, that's our main our main goals right there. Perfect. So I'll link that in the description so people can easily find it. So my last question for you today is what most inspires you as you continue to work to grow the business? I like the business because the business and the owners of the business and the, and the people that founded it and all the investors in the business live in Fayette County or Coweta County. We all spend our money in Fayette County and Coweta County. So I like how local we are uh, truly. You know, some people look at it and be like, well, we're a big corporation. Well, we're not. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We do have a lot of investors and they're all local. And I think that's one of my favorite parts about working here. And it's always been one of my favorite parts. And, and you know, so we employ like 45 people that are all local. So it's just, it's kind of a neat, neat thing. And I, and I do plan on continuing our relationships with all of the um, nonprofits we work with and, and that sort of thing. Awesome. Scott, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for joining me, sharing a little bit of your story and letting us learn more about Lion Creek. I really appreciate it. All right. We appreciate it too. Have a good day. Thanks.